Ahoy hoy! Ahoy hoy, hey, everyone. everyone! Oh, look at that. I forgot to push this back. Oh, and I'm, I'm tall again. Look. There How about go. that? Wait, no. Maybe a little I'm bit I'm in more. a hole. How about that? That's a little bit better. All right. Hi! How's it going? The, the daily ritual of getting all of our, you know, stuff straight before we start. I know. Is it, <laughs> is it startling when, the, like, the music's going, everything's mellow, and we're like, hi! No, oh, they're used it's to it It's not no. startling, it's a, right? It's a jump scare. Right. It's our jump scare. <laughs> Hey, we have coffee this morning, mm. like in color-coordinated cups again. Right? Love these. Oh, oh, oh. Um, anywho, so, welcome! It's, uh, it is sharing day, where we show, where we do, where we share our challenges. This is the last challenge of 2020. It is. We're putting the 2020 challenges to rest. <laughs> But Tuck, um, tucking them all in a little bit. Yeah, by. because, of course, uh, Christmas Day and New Year's Day both fall on Fridays this year. So we won't be doing yep. shows then. We'll still be doing our Wednesday uh, um, and Monday, Sunday. Monday, Wednesday. Monday, right? Wednesday, Sunday shows, just not mm -hmm. that one. So we'll see you over the holidays. I have, I'm have, i going to have a bunch of days off in a row uh, between um, Christmas and New Year's. So that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be... <laughs> Nice yeah, so maybe Ray. I don't know December twenty seventh or something. We'll get the ornaments on the tree. Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> it's sitting right over there. Oh my goodness! All right, I'm gonna. I'm just having a mm. a little freshen up, and then we'll say hi to everyone. Yeah, let's go see. Uh, right. Let's see who all is here this morning, and I'm sure other people will pop right. in along the way. I usually try to like vamp for a few minutes just to give people time to arrive because mm -hmm. what ends up happening is if we do it too early then we don't catch all the people who showed up a couple minutes late. Names popping in. Although right. we see a lot of cheerful hellos uh, between people before we even went live, right? It's true. It's true. And 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 I've got an epic number of of uh, messages telling me that there's stuff at the post office and they're all they kind of all keep Ooh. arriving like you know, a couple days after each other, so I'm kind of hoping for them to, like, pile up, and then I can just go all at one time. Yeah, but I we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to go tomorrow. We're going to walk in the snow both ways. With Kleenex boxes for shoes. Yes. Okay, there's there's no snow. You know, I think you're going to be in trouble know, later with a certain somebody. On the sidewalk? Uh-oh. Ooh, we got to prep for just saying, 1045. You got to make sure the 1045 uh, prep is ready to go. So is everybody excited um, for the holidays? Those of you who celebrate holidays in the winter. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for Well, you heard me talk about the other day. 3D printer on the way, y'all. We're going to be doing some cool... Um, some cool 3D printed stuff. Got some ideas going Ooh, on. Hey, oh, we're all. Yeah, I got some got some really fun ideas going on about what we might uh, be able to do with them. Like I've already started kind of designing a custom like thing that we can start putting in our prize packs. So. Oh, you mean with the 3D printer? With the 3D printer. So if you are expecting a prize box from la from from spinning the wheel the other day, if you're willing to wait. A little bit longer, you may get a special something from the printer. Hot off the press. We'll see. Anyway, um, so yeah, actually, uh, hooded one, <laughs> printing your own bricks. Now, definitely, people do that, but it is it is, a is much it more impressive. Well, not it's not so much that is that the quality will never ever be the same. Like like you cannot get that kind of precision. That Lego gets. Oh, like, right. Because by the time you like take the model, copy it, and then make it into a form that you can print it at, and yeah. then print it. There's so many like iterations. You know, it's like, um, you know, we used to do carbon copies. Well, like, copy remember of a copy of a copy, like VHS tapes. You can't even see it after a while. But I'm. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna not try a to do some really big Lego pieces, some like oversized yeah. Lego props. So. Yeah, I have in mind. I don't know why. I kind of want to do. Um, I want to do an oversized mini doll, like one of those elves um, characters. An elves, an elves mini doll would be pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's say hi to everyone. Um, sure. I want to actually. I real oh, quick. Oh, Christopher Coster says, like Amy. Yes, Amy is definitely complicit in this project. Oh, oh yes, she is. She is super complicit. She's inspirational. 
she uh well i you know, of course when Enabling. i decided that this is what i wanted to do you know that this is what i wanted i made mm -hmm. sure and um i i contacted her immediately sorry everybody's doing a little bit of behind the scenes there uh there we go yeah Done. and much better who right? would have guessed but amy was enthusiastic about the project oh she was so excited <laughs> so <laughs> very exciting um She's so busy. One of these days, we might get lucky enough to have her on. We're just so happy she comes up for air and her busy schedule sometimes to say hi. Yes, yes. Oh, so Jake is saying, yes, we could do the um, uh, the elves. Um, centaur. Elves centaur. Dog Scooby tar. centaur. Dog tar. I don't know what you call it. Um, uh, let's see. All right. Um, I want to see. Let's see who's here. I think, see, now we've got, like, more even more people than we had yeah. like two minutes ago when we started vamping. <laughs> okay, let's see who's here. Da 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 da. Awesome. Alexander twenty three is here. Aubrey Kovach. Hey Aubrey, how's it going? Uh, Brickworm. Chris and Jaden. Wish, wish you, you all, all happy, happy Christmas. Christmas. Thank you, Chris and Jaden. Uh, Cornado is here. Ahoy, howdy, cowboy. Uh, Darren Siegfried is here, Debo Bricks, Fabby Fan MKE, Hooded, Hooded One, Joel Marbella, he of the many names, John Luttrell, uh, Johnny, Johnny Cat, Cat hi is Johnny, here. Uh, Christopher Coster is here all the way from sunny Puerto Rico. Um, we've got uh, Yano River Blue, Mini Thick Chick, yes, uh, Mr. Starbricks, that's, that's a, a new, new name. name, hello Mr. Starbricks, welcome, welcome, welcome to our stream. Uh, everybody give a big Tricky Bricks welcome to Mr. Starbricks. Uh, Moto is here. Yay, Moto. Uh, Ms. Slow Brickta, Remy Baker, Rob Ketcherside, uh, Rob Zaccardi, and the Zaccardis, Lana, Vanessa, and Elena. Hello. Um, happy holidays to you. Jake Sadovich. How's it going, Jake? Always good to see you here. Uh, Sarah Silverman. Hey, Sarah. Uh, the Brick Orphanage. The Hornburgers. Hornburgers are Peter, here. Julia, and Andrew. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. Um, the Jammy Bricker. And Wilfred, and uh, 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 come on, Wilfred, Kim. We are so happy to we're, see so, you. We're bonjour, Wilfred. We're of course happy to see you. But then I got to the end, and I'm like, "Where's the period on the end of the sentence?" Now I just need to keep talking. There she is, Kim. Oh, my goodness. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Kim, no, <laughs> no guilt. All right, if you can't make it, it's okay. Flynn will be okay. I will be all right. But, but we're it was happy weird because I don't see her like super current in the chat, but her name just like all of a sudden popped up. Um, oh wait, uh, uh, did you mention Roland uh, Dervishy? Dervishy? No, that's the uh, he just showed up while we were doing that. How's it going, Roland? Good to see you again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they you know and they they pop, pop in. in. Mm -mm -mm. I know it's like Sesame Street here, just all new popping in the alphabet. Hmm. Sorry. Well, we're I'm feeling needed. we're feeling the holidays. We are feeling right? wrapping up feeling stuff something. with work, deep cleaning stuff. Yes, and we have. Um, but shall we go on with our? Shall we move forward with our features for the yes. day? Yes. No, I want to talk about cleaning for an hour. Yeah, that would be very exciting <laughs> for everyone involved. Well, I always think it's nice before putting up the holiday decorations because then when you take them down, everything seems super fresh. <laughs> well, I have a Disney pin today. Did I forget Benny? Hello, Benny. Hey, oh, Benny. Hey, Benny. Um, let's oh, and see. did we see Matthew builds bricks earlier? Oh, did I? I didn't no, I think he popped in there. I popped Hi, in Matthew. and out. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Well, I've got a super cheerful pin today. We've got Tigger. Oh, and he's not going to... Is the autofocus clicky doing? You know how it is. Um, okay. And then I've got... Well, like, autofocus is on. That's so funny here. Through. I'm going to try it once more. Put an out-of-focus pin in your eyes there. Sorry. There you go. There's Tigger. You can tell it's him. Oh, for Benny. The, that Benny. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, Benny's here? There's oh, a Benny here that I missed? Okay. See, I almost made a joke about Benny, and I was like, oh, no, that's someone's name. Here we go. So, and then, I know, this again, we, we're we back to, you know, you gotta put the one's thing. done before, but I've got my, oh, you're spoken my Mad that. Hatter hat with the 10-6. I was always obsessed with that, like, 
for whatever reason, when I was a kid and um, and and reading the books, and then again in the movie, I was mm -hmm. obsessed by that like that card. It says really in this, like in this size has. ten six. It was just really awesome. Um, all right, let's yeah, see. I'm gonna actually put this pin on. Hey, Sarah Starbricks is here. Oh, I'm gonna guess that Mr. Starbricks maybe has something to do with Sarah. <laughs> um, uh, hey guys, good to see you both again. I hope you will have a wonderful Christmas. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, it's good to you. see you too. Thanks so much for for coming. Right. That's right. I think I got it. I think I got it all on. Um, so I'm gonna have to leave a little early today because I have an appointment. But I can't wait to see what people made. That's right. You do have to leave early today because you have a you have a thing. Right? Yep. So uh, we're gonna actually uh, when we get around to it, we're gonna show our. Um, piece first this time I think oh yeah we're gonna be yeah that's it we're going a little off the usual we're gonna show ours first today since Richard has to leave early and he wants to uh, you know be able to talk about uh, his uh, his thing that he did and our thing we actually collaborated mm -hmm. and each did a different part of sort of a one piece yeah so sort fun. of inspired by each other well Wilfred um, we can we can have a sidebar conversation about cleaning because it's a <laughs> Deep topic, <laughs> lots to say. <laughs> mm. And right. lamp posts. And lamp posts. <laughs> lamp posts are a thing. Um, yeah. So, oh, so we are, I'm, I'm trying to think. So just as, like, this is just a reminder of our upcoming schedule. So as we mentioned before, um, we'll be doing a show this Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, and then again on Monday and Wednesday, but not on Fridays, on Christmas Day. But we've got a special treat coming up next week. Oh, yeah. Is it a secret? I don't think it's a secret. Um, we, um, Modo is going mm -hmm. to be joining us on Monday and hopefully Wednesday. Mm -hmm. hope so. um, we'll, we'll see. But we received a special uh, mail in the... Um, uh, it, the, it, uh, in the uh, mail. I looked at the chat. I looked at the chat. Yeah. See what happened? I got distracted. We received a parcel in the mail. From and it, Moto. And, it, and it's the first thing under the Christmas tree. And it says, and it says, start filming now. So we're not going to open it today, but we're going to open it on Monday. It is a model. It's something that Moto designed, and we are going to be building it on the show. Together with, with Moto. Together with Moto. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I think it's going to be... Uh, be fun and yes there is mail and we also have mail coming in the in the in the mail place from the yeah, mail people we're, we're gonna go to the mail place some people call it a post office we could have done a post office for our for our winter village there's that already one nice. i mean they did one for um they have one they have an official one you know what everything's been done so we, what it would we just would have it like different. it would just have like lots of pack undelivered packages behind it and then like a lost package in like the gr the gutter behind it and no. then like a long line out the door with people with lots of packages no i was i was <laughs> i was imagining a bunch of cheerful elves all getting their deliveries done on time because they're <gasps> oh wait sorry elves. that was that was me just to, uh, that was me thinking about our post office apologies sorry I didn't Need to disparage the post office. Hey, what do we have going on today? Um, oh yeah, it's time for our, um, our Friday feature, everybody. Here we go. That's right. Ding from the crypt. Woo. Thanks, Angela. Thank you, Angela. She's up for the holidays. So in uh, in theme for the holidays, we decided that we're going to show off some ornaments from our uh, from our tree. So why don't you go first? You know, you I love think, these I old think glass ornaments. Christmas tree is kind of like Batman's. It's like black and very dark gray. It is. <laughs> With black light. So this is my thing from the crypt. Um, this sort of robot astronaut he's more an astronaut Glass but he, astronaut. he looks kind of robot-y to me as well but that's pretty cheerful it reminds me of um santa claus and the martians it does well it's a beautiful i love these vintage style well, look he's got a you know, dial like on glass his chest blown ornaments they're just so cool right Cheep, boop boop now, I can't remember when you got that. I think, did I get that for you? Or did someone else? Um, this was remember. early. This was before we were married. Wow. This would have been um, 
I mean, not in the way, way back days, but this would be when we still lived in San Francisco. Oh, well, mine is too. Actually, mine is probably almost 20, uh, almost 20 years old, I think. Whoa. Um, this was a gift from a friend, and I have to say, it's like one of my very, very favorite ornaments here. Um, and fits our theme. Mm -hmm. And me. <laughs> this awesome glass um, Bride of Frankenstein ornament. I don't really approve of that business, but... Well, they had, <laughs> they had to resolve it somewhere. I guess, but it sort of looks like a, um, a hostess oh, cupcake with the swirls on it. She but. looks a little concerned, and she's got those little Betty Boop yeah. lips. But anyway, I love this. It's a great... It always gets a pride of place on our... Um, a ding-dong, that's it. That's what I was thinking of. Um, so, yeah... Oh, yeah. Moto, that is gloriously awful. Oh, <laughs> I love this. She makes me really happy. She's from a monster movie. Yeah, well, it's, it's that's why. Very Halloween and Christmas should In always her, be together. Our art, um, art deco gown that she had, too, her like art deco bandage gown. Yeah. So um, I we said we might do a wheel spin today. I don't think we're going to do a wheel spin today. We will probably do some wheel spins next, next week. Next week. Um, and hopefully people will, will come and see our show, even if we're not giving away things. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? I know. <laughs> <coughs> um, so, anywho. Oh, look at that. Zarakino, of course, has a Jack Skellington and, and Sally tree topper. Very good, very good. I would love to see, um, I would love to see at some point, um, you know what, we should do a thing and just have everybody send pictures um, of their Christmas decorations or holiday decorations, because I would love to see yep. what everybody's done, right? It would be so much fun. Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> Wilf Wilfred is not a fan of the shiny makeup um, on the on the bride. But okay, she, so everyone she hates an, my ornament, no, she basically. Is an, she is an <laughs> ornament. She's got these amazing, like, check out, I don't know if you can see it up close, but look, she's got, like, little eyelashes and blue dots in the corners of her eyes. Oh, my goodness. All right. I love her. I do, too. That's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, what is... Yay, what was I saying? Chick. Yeah, so you'll probably notice that um, you know, people are noticing that it went down to 1910, and as we sort of like explained before, they it's it's really at 1919, but this thing only counts mm -hmm. every 10. And um, you know, people just like on Instagram, like people subscribe and then they unsubscribe for whatever reason. So yep. I'm hoping in 2021 we can do a big push and really, you know, like try not to be too aggravating about it. But my goodness, we've mm -hmm. been trying to to get in these last, you know. Well, we're almost 175 shows. We yeah. have new features coming up in the new year. Uh, yes, yes, we and do. We're going to have some new stuff. And a regular feature today. Like, if you don't show up for this, my goodness, this is so fun. We get to share what everyone made. We do get to share what everyone made. Ooh. All right. What, so, <laughs> wait, what happened there? No, it's... Uh, take too long to explain all right anyway um we should we get to the should we get to the slideshow let's do that time we've got um i've got a, fridays a, are fabulous i completely agree i agree I'm, i am very excited and as we mentioned before we are going to be doing ours first this time i'm sorry everyone i know we mm -hmm. usually try to like go last but since richard's leaving early we've decided to uh, we're going to pop ours yep. in there and early. we got an early start but we of course weren't finishing last night um, no. No, we wouldn't do that. But we didn't stay up super late. No, it's nice. true. We got to bed regular time. Yeah, there you go. Seven o'clock. Very, very civilized. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Before we start on this, how about a coffee you refill? A refill? Okay. Yes, please. Um, yeah, these are go. the little cups. Uh, all right. Let's see... Yeah, we had fun. We had fun with our our build, um, and we always have fun with our builds. But I really well, but we did it different this time, like the way we built things that went together. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, so we decided we would collaborate on this one. And I mean, Richard had an idea for a vehicle, and then I kind of came up with a building that went along with the vehicle. So I feel, um, and I feel really happy with that because we don't get to build 
together as much anymore. So well, this was nice. Night. Um, oh, Holly, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know, I, well, I, to be fair, I was up until all hours, multiple nights working on that commission. So <laughs> I did, this one just happened to like, and I, and I will say, I won't say, I struggled with this a little bit, like get it, just getting the building proportions right and to like look right, it was kind of. I was worried and then magic happened. Um, yes, exactly. Um, uh, work holiday Zoom party yesterday and we did a quarantine bingo. I won a Fitbit. <laughs> That'll be helpful. I was, I was actually, I was actually looking at an article the other day that was like, you know, these are all the cool tech gadgets that we had to like stick in a drawer this year that we didn't get to use. And a guy was like, my my noise canceling headphones, because um, he's not in an office anymore. Although you I ended use... up getting them. Yeah, you have to hear my big mouth flapping. But there you well, go. Well, it makes you know the Twitch stream is very interesting, and I want to be involved in every step of it, and I need to focus on. Um, on work as well, so I just put on those noise canceling and yeah. Zoom. And Fitbits were the other thing that they were like, yeah, I've got a Fitbit. It's been in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Does it record if you just run around the house? I don't know. Hey, Mr. Ellie Daniel One, how's it going? If it does, everybody be getting their steps in. At least, hopefully. Okay. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's start our slideshow. So, right. um, Richard and I, uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. We did the Winter Village Stables. Um, we went with a pretty traditional, like, Victorian. Like, yeah, but, I mean, like, we tried to model ours on, like, the existing, like, the, the, like, the setup of the existing sets. So, we did a, um, we did a. I did the stables, and Richard did the hansom cab, and it's. I think it came out. I think they came out really well. I'm really, really excited about that. It's fun. I liked building something so small that I could just spend all of my effort trying to add cool new details. And there's so much black on it. It's hard to. It's hard to tell. But those little doors open. They're on um, on ink wells, and they open with the flags. And then there's um, dark red upholstered seat on the inside. And I don't know if you can um, if you can tell I've got these grills front and back. I might show it to the camera at some point too. Okay. Um, so th yeah, so here's like a little bit um, the of uh, a better look at the at the handsome cab. All right. And this mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's got a yeah. We d we definitely went for a classic um, you know a classic look and then oldie timey. And mine's a little overexposed. I apologize, but my the backdrop. But here's my uh, my addition, um, the the actual building. Um, I decided to go for a more like a shed kind of roof, and I used all those awesome um, little claw pieces for snow coming up. I did the <coughs> the things, and you can see our lamp post. This was a collaboration, which I know everybody is is wanting. Um, Let's go to full screen, shall we? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, sure, but sure, first sure. I want to say I really like the hinged half doors that you did there. Oh, thank you. Um, and we went with cute little animals there. There has to be a cat, right? Well, there was, yeah, because there was always a cat. a cat. And we I kind of went with these friends' horses, so, and then, and we could have the, it was Richard's idea to add the pony. Baby. Um, yeah. It's a baby horse. It's a baby horse. And then. And uh, then the tiny rabbit on yeah, the left. Yeah, and the rabbit yeah. on the left. <laughs> uh, well, thank, thank you, everybody, you, so much. Thank you, um, and I'll just real quick go to um, the front cam. Um, so here's our here's our lamp post, gold and black, and it even. So it's a little out of focus, but we used inkwells and and um, it has lightsabers, a, and it's wearing a tiara. Just P.S. Like the little it, the little thing on the top is a tiara. A little bit of empire <laughs> design. <laughs> Oh, Kim, that would be that. Would, we tried to make it like a playset, right? Yeah, we did. We really went with a playset kind of a kind of a yeah. feeling for it, but it's not open in the back and like then, a, like one would be. But yeah, I just I don't know if I'll be able to get any light on it so you can see. But it, the back is totally modeled and curved as well. Um, and then you can see I used Palisades bricks on the inside and the upholstery there. There you go. <coughs> 
All right, so that was um, that was ours. That was fun. I had a lot of fun yeah. putting those together. We did the lamp post last, and really, I think um, I brought structure to it, and and Flynn brought some really nice fine details. Yeah, it's just it's just like how many pieces can you like little pieces <laughs> can you cram together for a single lamp post? But I think it it went really well with the building and everything, right? It's a little bit industrial, but also kind of a little bit fancy. Oh, so. thanks, Holly. Um, awesome. Thanks, everybody. All right. Well, let's uh, now let's get uh, move let's see on what other to people the... built too. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, right. I don't do that anymore. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Brickanista. That's nice. <laughs> clips and bars. I love. Um, Moto's the one who got me excited about clips and bars. Okay. This is from Alex23, and I, I guess the they got a little out of order. There we go. Okay. We'll, we'll look at them backwards, which is fine because I. Apparently numbered them wrong. Um, so Alex23 says, I decided to build my carousel on the moon. Everyone wants to ride <laughs> on, onto this amazing space ride because a true winter wonderland village is always cold in space. <laughs> well, that's what they say about thrill rides in space. No one can hear you scream. Yes. That's what they say. I love that with the rocket. The rocket on top is almost... Almost like a lava lamp shape. Yeah, and the um, the balloon, the use of the balloon pieces and the um, the flexible tube, like it's just really, um, it, really, really great. And of course, yeah, the crater plates. And I love that um, that the astronauts are gonna wear their suits on the ride as well. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really great. And we'll have to, I have to go backwards a little bit, but there you can see the inside. And I love those. I love those uh, pieces that, that are used to support the animals. Is I, that, on the left, is that a panther? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, those pieces, the, the ones with the sort of grill work are really nice. Spacey and fun. Really great. This is really, really fun. Awesome. Not a panther. I guess it's like the mountain lion. But and there's a sort of, then there's a top view. I love the view from the top. It's just, it's like a daisy. Right? It looks then, like a big flower. And then are those flexi tubes going around to make the ring? Yes. Yep. Um, your brother-in-law helped you with the design of the mounting. The mounting is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really, it's really, really cool. What a fun project. Very good. And another cool curvy use of those weather balloon parts or hot air balloons. Nice. Love it. Space on the moon. I'm into it. Oh, this is lovely. This is from Avernus Workshop um, in simply entitled Winter Village Pagoda. This is lovely. I love the roof, like the whole, and all of those gold pieces around the edge the of the roof. The one with the little like flange that comes off of it is such a nice shape. I don't know. I, I've thought about those for like little speeder seats or things before. I love them on this. Yeah, it's really it, it's really lovely. I I, I, I and don't know. I would hang out here. Two, four, do I see six lamp posts? I, I think I, I see, see six, six lamp, lamp posts. posts. Um, now I'm gonna guess there's a. Uh, oh yes. Oh, this is a great um, collage. Yeah, it's really fun. You get to see. I love the the roof from the top. Um, oh, and to again, see the interior, those sort of shield pieces in dark red as well, the yeah. ones with the bar on the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm ju and I just love the the lamp post using the bubble, like those little bubble tops. It's really mm -hmm. really fun. Mm. And then all this the awesome. all the blue underneath it is really great contrast with the gold and dark red. Exactly. Pieces. Yeah, it really gives it a little like. Pew, yeah, really it's, really nice. I think it's kind of a sophisticated color palette. Indeed. All right. All right, this is from Brickanista. Uh, Batmanda and Chubbin patiently wait in line for the Winter Village Porta Potty. <laughs> <laughs> this is a modified design of the portable toilet by uh, Tiago Caterino. Special thanks to Matthew Builds Bricks, Fourth World Adam, and Remy Baker for the building advice and inspiration for the cameo of Super Sewer Baby. Um, this mock is a necessary addition to the Lego Winter Village Market set. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Super Sewer Baby. <laughs> Who knew they were already potty trained? I know. This is so good. Oh, too much. That and, is funny. And a really imaginative, cheerful street lamp, too. Yes, I love the street light. And do we get a... 
<laughs> I insert it in with the rest. Nice. And I want to go back and I, w I do want to go back and look at that lamp post because it's really creative. I love the um, it's like that the upside down thing. rocket crystal thing, like the blue light and then the flag. It's really pretty, and I love the blue decorations. Mm -hmm. I think it's like really really smart. And Very that, cool. That piece is utterly different in trans blue than it is in white. I always think of it as like a little rocket base or something. Yeah. In white. Yeah. Exactly. Um, awesome. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is just like a lamp post. And it's amazing. Posh. Um, uh, chocolate. Lamp post is, this is from Brickworm. Sorry. Uh, this is called Chocolate. Lamp post is a physical build as the seed part isn't in studio. Building is a studio build as the lettering isn't in chocolate brown yet. <laughs> All right. Well, I love that. That yeah. is just really fun. What a what a fanciful like you know Candyland gingerbread uh, type. It's just really really it's really fun. Well, the little bow is sweet. right, right. And I love that cake decoration drips. Like those are mm -hmm. I have some of those. They're really really cool. One of the few ways to get really nice organic curves in in Lego. Yeah, yeah. Plus now I want dessert. Oh, this Yay. is delightful. Well, I love the color scheme, first of all. Mm -hmm. I'm super into uh, the tan and brown and sand green, as you probably saw from my building. Oh, the shutters are made from the little windows you see on the upper. Oh, They're yeah. made from the chocolate bars. Oh, that's great. Really, really cute. I think the studs on the top of the cornice are really nice little detail, too, because it's such a studless piece, having that those little bumps and I'm a huge fan of those little square windows, like the multiple square windows in a big row. They're like it's mm -hmm. it's um, something about that is so European and so like vintagey. Um, Am I also seeing grills on their so or uh, end on like this tiny little chocolate detail underneath where it says chocolate is everything? Yeah, the I'm whole not width. sure what that is. I feel like those are the edges of grills, but I'm not sure. They're really, it's really pretty. Awesome. Excellent build. Best scarf right. bricks. Yes, feels very classic. <laughs> All right. Let's go. And with multiple lamps. Oh, they're edges of clips, says Brickworm. Is what oh, of saying. course. You know, I saw that the other day and thought the same thing. Yes, it, it is. Of course. So this is from Chris Chalice. Um, the, the title of my, uh, it said, Merry Christmas, um, from me and Jaden to Flynn, Richard and Logan and all the tricky family, all the way from Victorian old England, bah humbug. <laughs> um, title of, excuse me, title of my build, Beware the Yellow Snow. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, and it's very, and of course, it's very classic Winter Village, right? The bench, like we talked about we a bench. We almost had a bench. Right, we almost had a bench. I love the lamppost is really fun and then of course the dog and, and the dog is like squirrel um he's on to the next thing so see this so his first job chris says his first job after university was for a street lighting manufacturer oh. as a sales admin so i actually sold street lighting columns and lanterns as a job from modern to classic styles and they were the first company to make columns out of concrete well there you go oh, cool. and that 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 explains the um the shape of the column there, yeah. and I love the three, the other shapes coming off the side of the of the lamp post. In San Francisco, they have triple lamp posts like that. Oh, all right. I really, yeah, I like the I like the little the surround around the outside is really cool. Um, oh, hey, uh, somebody just showed up that I was going to say hello to, and then David Wilkie. David Wilkie is here. How's it going? Um, all right. So we actually have a lot to get through today. So I'm gonna we're gonna have to. Totally Move along. right along. <laughs> this is awesome. This is from Darren Siegfried. This is my after Christmas tropical village build. Here we have uh, Ms. Claus sharing cookies with the elves and Jingle the Elf enjoying playing on the Festivus pole. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the surfboard. Um, and then I'm just going to catch some waves. After a busy night delivering toys to all the good girls and boys, uh, we have Santa relaxing in a hammock tied to a palm tree in a festive lamppost with his favorite drink, eggnog. 
That is a great lamp. Post. I am delighted by that lamp post. It is so much fun. It really, really great. It's just and and I love that you've you know, you know, I always love like we went really traditional with ours, but I yeah. always love when y'all go kind of like outside the like you still it's still winter village. But, but that's you, so but Lego, it, right? It's so Lego. And I want to know where you got that red lamp post. I know, I haven't I have seen those white, before. black, and dark green, but I've never seen that. And I love that you used the netting um for the for the hand. For the hand. It's really great. Really, really great. Um Wow, that that lamppost could not be more festive. I know it's really it's really really fun. <laughs> and there's the two of them together. <laughs> it's just make like the whole thing is making it, it makes me laugh. It's really good, and and it kind of reminds me we did um, our lug Bay Lug did a Christmas in July theme, and there was a lots of um, like elves on the beach and such. And this makes me think of that. But I love. Uh, I love Mrs. Claus in her, or Mrs. Claus in her, uh, like, her bathing suit. Mrs. Claus, she's like, oh, finally he's asleep. I'm going to go hang ten. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Um, oh, Jake Sadovich says Harry Potter for the red lamppost. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Um, wow. wow, look at those. This is fun. And I see a, a paint roller, too. So this is... I think. Um, this is called Lampy's Outpost. This is from Debo Bricks. <laughs> Your one-stop <laughs> shop for all things lampposts. Bring the kids. We have a dedicated snowball fight arena right outside our front door. Check that out. I love the, I love the bear like making the, the snowman, right? The, making the snowman with the with the hat in his mouth is so cute. Um, and he says, "We know you have a choice of lamp post providers this year, but remember Lampy's motto: If it doesn't turn on, are you sure you got it here? Do you have your receipt with you?" <laughs> That's really fun. And then look at like all the mini lamp posts. That's right. Great. Like all um, the mini lamp posts made out of the telescopes and stuff. Well, I love this one. This one's really yeah. fun. And let's take a look. Let's go back a second and take a look at some of the other lamp posts. Well, that one has every sign on it, too. Yes, there's the one with all the signs. I also, I love this sort of like. That seems Asian. Yeah, to me, pseudo you know, Asian, Asian looking influence. influence, exactly. I love this one with the upside down bubble. Oh, there's so many. They're really um and they're really, really fun. Really creative. And all it looks like a lot of them based on, you know, like the main lamppost structure mm -hmm. uh with additions. Um and really just really, really fun. And the all the kids having the snowball fight are so happy. They're all jumping around. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Oh, and I love those blue windows. Are those medium blue windows that I immediately need all of? Now, this snow person in the foreground, I'm getting a little bit like a snow droid, too. Oh, yeah, kind of, it kind of looks like... It's a snow Dalek is what it is. That is a Dalek, or a Dalek, depending on how you like to pronounce it. <laughs> Dalek Dalek. Really great. This is super fun. I love it. Hooray! <laughs> See if you if you tell people if you tell people lampposts, they will or give give, give them the uh, oh who of course I have to guess who this is yes so this is Fabby Fan MKE of course and this is called curling caroling and too many lampposts and I think we're gonna have to blow this one up because there okay oh and he used that um, see the clock. Uh -huh. Is on that sign we were looking for. Yeah, I was going to use that sign uh, and ended up kind of like making up a sign. But and I... a Fabuland lamp post that reminds me of the ones in Paris. The gray one right there. Yeah, and I don't know if this is purposeful, but the little booth in the back looks like Lucy from Charlie Brown. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> like, the, it, the doctor is the in. The doctor is in. <laughs> And Scooby Doo is so happy to be there. Oh, you put a Scooby Doo head on a mini on a mini doll. Very <laughs> clever. I love it. Wow, you have you have like all the different um, fabulous the curling. I love the little curling area. I love the lamp posts. 
um, really fun designs. And I just, I cannot get that Lucy out of my head. Like, it just looks like. Well, and then, then we've got, is this a, who is it on the left? A bulldog on a Technic figure? On a te or I think it's a rabbit, actually. Yeah, I love um, um, the this lamp post in particular with the four lamps and yeah. it uses that piece that look that's actually a gear and it's got the little knobs on like the four knobs that come out of it with the little oh, holes yeah. in them yeah really really cool yeah curling stones are great and, and of course playing music they're playing music around the campfire uh, and that accordion the, the curling stones are brilliant yeah really nice awesome fabby fan mke and i love the the i have to say i love the presentation uh the long, like the widescreen look. Yep, it was really good. Um, yeah, That's really a fun great. Party. Yeah, two, two, three different lamp posts. One, two, three. Very cool. All right, Fabby fan MKE. Oh, there's more. Uh, great, we get to see. Oh yeah, that's right. I saw it right here. That there was another one. Um, really fun. That is so Lucy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, re yeah. Oh, and oh, that's a lamppost as well. Yeah. Right. With the, that's what you were talking about before. Yep. Yep. And they're around, they're playing music around a fire. Really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The little gold, little gold fire. That's delightful. Super fun. Wait a minute. Look at those trees, says Rob Ketcherside. Oh, yeah. Those, the, the, um, I like the, the cypress trees. We don't have many of those. We have one. <laughs> we have one. And you know we were looking for and didn't find. We have one of those um, triangular pine trees with white on it. With as white well. snow on the top of it, but I couldn't find it. Mm. Yeah, so that's a pine tree, a fruit tree, and a uh, cypress tree. Now, I love the fruit trees. Am I the only one, or does anyone else think that there must be a way to engage bricks with those trees? I've tried putting it's really hard. putting round tiles in there. I just. You can nestle them a little bit, but I haven't been able to mount anything. No, I think I was mistaken about the piece that was used for this piece. Um, well, that's... For the four-way? Yeah, it looks like there's a Travis brick. Oh, is it a Travis brick with the little, like, the little frying pan sort of tiny, tiny, tiny fire yeah. pan that's got a dot on it? I love and, this one with the domes. And under those domes, I think I see upside-down pistols. Aren't... Isn't that the yes, isn't that the handhold yep. of a pistol yep. there with those the little holes in it? Um, and then I love this, the, the actually using the new-ish lantern piece as part of it. And then, of course, the the Fabulan lamp post. Yeah, the post with the clock is great. Delightful. All right. And the little happy blue bow. Exactly. <laughs> now, this is a chilly scene. All right. This is from... Uh, Fem Fem from the Vlock, Yano. Um, this is a different kind of winter village. I'll let the image speak for itself. So this also looks like winter in space. And I, oh. Whoa. Oh, can you blow up any? I want to see that background a little bit Oh, more. I thought there were more, I thought there was more, uh, I thought there were more photos. Well, I not. love the, um, the, t um, sparkle blue, tiny rock pieces. Yeah, the sort ice of framing pieces are the great. Foreground. I love, I, I'm digging winter in space. And I love the backdrop with like the city and then like the mountains in the background. It's really, really great. And I see a little micro um, uh, uh, rover. Ice planet. There, right? With a, Ye a oh, rover yeah. with a skate. <laughs> and then he, That's awesome. Yeah, the little micro car is fantastic. Now, I can't quite figure out what the blaster is for. And lamp posts in two scales. Here's one. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the back, I space love it. Space lamp posts. Space lamp posts. So good. Super fun, Yano. Sorry for the floating around there. And I love that backdrop so too. Yeah. And they're really, really, reminds, really fun. Reminds me of the holodeck or like some. Yes, it is totally holodeck style. Structure. Um, Ice Planet 2002 was a '90s theme. Oh, very good. That's fantastic, and I love that you tied it in with classic, uh, um, classic Lego stuff. Very cool. She looks pretty cheerful. All right. Well, while we are here at a pause point, oh, did you really just say that? I usually do. It's time for um, <laughs> our very special guest, who Richard is going to go call now. Hi, 
pal. Yay! Hi, Logan. Look. How's it going, buddy? And look. There you go. Yay, Logan. Logan, say hi to everyone. Here. See? Look. There you go. Oh, he, that's a good He had catch. no idea he was going to become a celebrity. I know. <laughs> okay, now I wish I could put this on your nose and have you catch it, but I'll just hand him. Maybe by next Christmas he'll be able yeah, to like, catch him off his nose. No, he's too excited about eating to I catch know. anything on his nose. Yeah, he's Nothing not having last it yet. long. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah. Yay, Logan. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he completely That's licked it. my glasses, and now awesome. I can't see out of them. Yay, Logan! And my hair went crazy. All right, what? There's Logan no more cookie cookies. time. Oh my goodness! I have to. Um, I have to. Uh, wipe kisses my for dad. Off yeah. Now. Yes. He's a kisser. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. Every morning, I'm out on the, on the. Uh, the couch and he comes out to say hello and he always has to come and get snuggles in the morning it's very cute um yano says that piece was inspired by all the ice planet ads got it very cool um okay um here rob catcher said he's very 3d helpful. printed logan devo bricks is all about a 3d printed logan we talked about like a like coin with logan's face on it we'll see yeah i want to make little 3d coins like um like mardi gras like mardi coins. gras coins it would be fun right little tricky bricks and logan uh coins um okay here we go back to slides all right this, this works well with with your medium azure background too yes so this next one is from holly and we'll do the front uh the front one first it's in a train layout um Holly says, I had a friend's Heart Lake stable set stashed away um, that gave me a good base and parts to work with, and then I noodled. Um, it was a, She said she had a rough day, so it was hard not to abandon the build, but once I added it to our village, I decided it's pretty cute. Um, the client is pleased. She made it for her son, Vincent. Oh, um, nice. This was a pretty good mo a set mod exercise. I love it. I love the, um, I love the, the barn shape. Yeah, the, is it a sort of a gambrel roof, a right? Gambrel, yes. See, I like I learned a he word. He had to show off. <laughs> I I learned that we learned that from H.P. Lovecraft. He uses that word a lot. Yeah, yes. I do gambrel because that's very um, gambrel roofs on houses are very East Coast, right? Um, I know double stables, Wilfred. We had similar idea. Yeah. So and there's reindeer in this one. Well, and of course we had a similar idea, but completely different approaches. Like, like I love that um, you <laughs> went with the um, you went with the bar, you know, the gambrel roof, where I went more with like a shed roof, like a like a, a thing. But you know, I also I really wanted that. Um, those ice things hanging off the edge of the roof, so I wanted yep. a nice like edge on there. And I love the um, the rooster weather vane too; is cool. Yes, the weather the weather vane is delightful, and it looks great alongside the um, Santa's um, uh, Santa's workshop. And this is also for the reindeer, as you can see. Santa is here. Um, that's it from the back. And I love the like the loft. Is it bad that when I saw that ladder with the loft, all I could think of was the ring? Really? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, kinda. Sorry. That's what you got out of that? No, just when I saw the lat. The never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing bad. It was just... No, it's awesome, and I love the way the ladder is is attached as well. Um, I, so I, I got it. So I love the, um, I love the chicken on the top, the weather vane, like we were talking about. And of course we did a similar weather vane on top of our, one of our very, very first mocks, our Frankenstein's windmill. And yeah. it spun around. Yeah. It spun around as the, as the windmill arms went around. And yeah. this, this feels very play set too. Like you could totally play with this. Yeah. This is a uh, really, really, really fun. All right. Oh, Holly modded what was in the original set for that. And then here is her entire Winter Village Yay! with, with, with additions. A, I love it. With an awesome Christmas tree. We really need to get our train wow. together. Yeah, we do. Yes. Really, really fun. Yay. Wow, and is it, so there's a switch in that track, too. I wonder if the inner track there maybe 
displays a train and the other one goes around. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, we need. That's to... a pretty cheerful winter village. It is. See, our winter village is all hidden under a big giant branches of a tree. <laughs> I know. So you got, and actually, when we had people over, like last year, years before, mm -hmm. um, they would get down on you know on hands and knees almost immediately to watch the train go around. <laughs> well, and... train. All right. Two holiday trains. You can actually run them oh. at the same time. Oh, carefully. that's very great. good. All right. Yeah, with a watchful eye. Okay. This is from. Uh, okay, there it is. There. Is it candy desserts. Um, babies. This is from the Hornburgers. Uh, they did a group build all together. Um, welcome to the sweet shop. Our winter friends now have a place to stop for yummy baked goods and sweet candy treats. I love it. I am in love with that glass, that like curved glass piece. Mm -hmm. I love those curved glass pieces, and anytime they get used, I'm always super excited. Well, about plus them. I want to go in there and get some treats, right? Yeah, this is this is so fun, and I love the roof treatment on that rounded piece too, because it's hard to put roofs on those unless you yeah. unless you like want to commit to using those dome pieces. But um, this is super fun, roof treatment, a little uh, you know, and surrounded by some of the more uh, the original. Uh, sets. It well, that's great. That fun red roof on either side of the the, it's not a chimney, but on top of the circular room there. I love that, the red. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Roof. yeah. Those, that is really cool. And with those little the little bumpies on there. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> There's a baby, and in the little snowflake outfit, I think. And then I love the the guy with the flap hat, <laughs> which came from the inside. Um, that's uh, I love those hats. Those are really fun. The hunter. Cat. Now, are they coming out with cotton candy? No, those are um, marshmallows. Right, they're for headed. They're headed over they're to the fire. Over to the fire for marshmallowing. Really, really fun. And I love the little mailbox too, yeah. because you went with like the traditional mailbox look, but that rounded bit on the top really puts it over the edge. Very holiday. It's really, it's really great. And then the little scrolls above the sides of the door, the columns on either side of the yep. door, it's a nice detail And too. I also really love the, just like all the display in the windows. Mm -hmm. Really, really fun. I want a croissant now. Um, but we added candy to toilet paper. <laughs> oh, they came with cool mugs? Oh, I want to know what the awesome mugs are. Mm -hmm. Um, Very cool. Yay! Hey, we had Ray Hornburgers. Didn't we have that pinwheel piece on the front of a? We didn't have I that used one. I it the... in my Candyland piece. Right. Yep. Oh, look! And the um, look at the their lamp post is great too. The little again the upside down bubble top, the which is a big thing. fan. Yeah, very cool. Hey, Cafe Corner, welcome. How's it going? Uh, let's see. Candied toilet paper, Johnny. <laughs> I think it's marshmallows. Um, all right. Super fun. Okay, let's see. This is from James Hug. Um, James says, I have many memories as a kid going to the mountains to pick out and cut down our Christmas tree. Um, rain or shine, we brought up a handsaw and enjoyed the smell of fresh pine and mountain air. So this is the vintage... Christmas tree farm. Um, the scene is built on four 16 by 16 base plates. The front image you see is the tool shed, decorated with lights and roof tiles mm -hmm. from the Quickie Mart. Uh, the forest man worker helping the customer and Yoda admiring the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. And I love it. And let's take let's get a little bit of a closer look here. And a tree farm lamp post in the background. Yes, and a tree farm lamp post in the background. But Very I'm good. digging this vehicle there. Like, that is a pretty happy fellow in the vehicle. Yes. And this guy's got, like, a balaclava on, it looks like. Um, really, uh, but this is this is really fun. I love the uh, the 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 mix of minifigures, too. It's like the little Robin Hood guy who yeah, like, like works the, perfectly as an elf. Exactly. Really cool. He's the, the elf that played basketball. <laughs> exactly. Um, this is the... Oh, I see. It's the tree delivery truck. Right. That's the tree delivery truck. And so the side view is the 1980s wind-up motor car delivery truck driven by the finger puppet figure. 
Um, the back view shows off the 1960s 10 by 20 early base plate with no bottom tubes. Um, and, of course, the city street light to illuminate the forest trees. Mm -hmm. Well, I and love that our, the, car, car. the car has a, a wind-up motor. Yeah, that's really fun. Oh, and, I, and of course, the old, the old wheels. That's a motor wheel, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Nice. Very well done. All right. Whoops. Sorry. Here we go. Back in action. Thank you, James. I know. Um, I love classic pieces. So this is from JMW Music. Yay! I'm so glad we have pieces to show by him again. It's been so exciting. Um, all right. JMW Music. Schoolyard snowball fight. To put my personal touch on the Winter Village, I decided to add a schoolhouse, minifigure elementary school. MES is a mock from this summer that I resurrected, um, and I've never rebuilt one like this before, and it was somewhat of a struggle to recreate it from old photos, but I still had fun um, getting the, uh, especially getting the minifigures ready for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> They're so excited for snow. I, believe, I understand that. I miss snow. I'm sure those of you who live with it don't. And there's our lamppost. Uh, in the background, I love the little school. The little schoolhouse is adorable. Yeah, the crisscross fence there above the door is super fun. Yeah, and those um, and the hats are they. Those look like you know, like Mongol hat. You know, like the, yeah, the... but I gotta say, the figure in the foreground before I got that it was a hat, I uh -huh. thought had a huge pompadour. I thought he had like big hair with a little hat on. They're really, really cool. And then is that a bell? Like a bell tower yes, at the top? Yes, at the top of the school. The little bell on the top. And then we've got... Yeah, there you can see it a little bit better. Oh, yeah. I love it. This is so fun. And actually, like, I'm surprised they haven't done a Winter Village schoolhouse yet. That's actually a really good idea for... Like, mm. um, I mean, there's been lots of good ideas. Stables is another one I'm surprised they haven't done. But I guess they've got... Well, now, got a long now time. we have two versions of stables. I know, exactly. <laughs> really, really fun. All right. Winter Village Schoolhouse, JMW Music, thank you so much. They're warm and toasty. So glad to see you um, doing these again. All right. All right, John Williams, we'll see you later. Bye, right, John Williams. Take care. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, I know who this is. Um, this is from Joel Marbella. AKA Have Studs Will Travel. <laughs> Don't know what y'all's winter village is like, but this fits perfectly in ours. This is the Krampus tree devouring all the misbehaved lamp posts of winter village sets past, present, and future. See? Before. <laughs> after. This is a, gr I love, this is a great little mod of this set. This is really, really fun. It looks and like I, someone fed him after midnight. Well, and I love that he's eating the lamp post. Yeah. Of course, is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mini pig Nick, ahoy hoy, how's it going? Um, the yeah, eyes are great. It's super kooky. I love that the eyes are on on like hinged stalks, right? So they can kind of move around. Yeah, really, really fun. I'm so glad that's not coming at me in the living room. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a great design. Um, the uh, uh, this was based on my friend Austin Madison's design. Very cool. Well, very fun. Yeah, uh, like Rob Kutcher said, well executed. Really great. Really great. Really great. <laughs> and see, freaky. like what other me like almost only in Lego can you have such like absurd surreal? I mean, of course, paint and sculpture and all of that. But there's a lot of really. Absurd, surreal stuff in Lego. Yes, well, you know, especially like they've got lots of really good eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, Whoa! that is a big lamp post. Lamp post to beat all lamp posts. My goodness, that is like the that's like the Olympic torch. That's of lamp what I was posts. thinking. Yes, so this is from uh, Lego Don, not to be confused with Lego Door, who's coming up next. This is okay. from Phil. Um, he says, I've been watching your show for a while, but this is the first challenge I've participated in and the first mock I've built to show. Oh, oh that's yay. awesome. I'm always so thrilled when people, um, you know, choose our show to show off their first stuff in public. I'm always, it's yeah. so nice. Well, I think it's a, 
it's a great place to come in for a landing on a new mock because everybody here is so encouraging and <laughs> and and positive and it's really really great well and a compound roof is you know that's um that's some tricky business there for yeah for the first mock showing yeah for sure so uh, anyway, this is uh, my building is called the Spice Rack, a gourmet spice shop located next to the North Pole Beacon. Um, it started as a normal size lamp post, and it just kept getting bigger. I love it. It's the North Pole Beacon, of course. Of course, it is. Really, really, really cool. Ooh, okay, yay! So let's pull, all decorated let's get a little on the bit. inside. Let's go. Let's pull in here. Really cute. I love the chair and all the little. Sh I'm. I am a, such a huge fan for like shelves with little jars on them and Lego. Mm -hmm. I'm just like super, super excited about it. Well, the Palisades bricks are very nice too. Yeah. So this is the back wall opened up and re and roof removed to show the shelves and sales counter. Really cool. It's I like love a this. cute little playset. Really. I fun. like that. I want to sit in that chair. It Seems comfy. It does. <laughs> and finally, Whoa, this is another goodness. landmark of my winter village is the giant nutcracker statue with crew assembling a Christmas tree. I love it. And it looks like it rotates. Like, it looks like oh, it's on yeah, a rotator. A, yeah, yeah. I mean, whether it actually rotates, I don't know. It's on a circle. But with sure. all that ice built around it. Did a really brilliant job building the ice around it. I thought that's, I think that's really, really great. What a fun brightly colored nutcracker yeah really that's it's a really the cute details design. on that are just spot on mm -hmm. i love the gold crystal on the top of his yeah. hat right for the feather like a plume. really good awesome wow oh rob catcher side all right rob we'll see you later Bye. oh wow so this is from legador this is from jack um, this is called Welcome to the Up Cafe, where winter adventurers can take respite from their treks through the mountains. There are indoor and outdoor fireplaces to cozy up next to, and heated tables outside to keep your drink toasty. Come on by to wake up and warm up. <laughs> that roof is awesome. I am, yeah, I am super, super in love with the roof. And I'm loving all the parkas, like with the, with the, um, the hoods. <clears throat> And that is an epic fire, like lamp post, fire post. Right, exactly. Made from barrels. I want to eat <laughs> right next to that. I know it looks like it's made from barrels, and um and yeah, and this one too also has this sort of like Olymp Olympic torch yeah. kind of feeling. And to is it, there right? some right side up and upside down work going on on that? It looks like it. And then let's take a look. We're gonna get some some other angles up. here. Well, and I gotta say, this is not like this. I believe this, this is an eight by sixteen, which is I think the same, same size thing as I yours. did mine. Yeah, really love all the little details in it, and it does very much seem like um, one of the ones you get. And there is the inside. That floor. Ooh, the floor is beautiful. And the sideways built columns, like that's all brilliant. Do you see the ones yeah. across the top? Yeah. Like. It's so clever. I'm really, uh, I'm really, really impressed. Yeah, well, 16 by 32, sorry, is what I meant to say, yes. And then, again, building upside down on that barrel, right? Those, those um, yep. mm -hmm. jump plates. Really, um, that's really fun. Yeah, they look like little trays almost. And then the wooden, I love those wooden, mm. the tile, the round tile with the wood. Yeah. Yeah. But that floor texture is, I think that's my favorite element right there. Yeah, the roof and the floor are both brilliant. I mean, and the whole the whole concept of it is really fun, and I, I love this idea. Really, really fun. Yeah, the textures are great. It's just beautiful all it's around. It's really a complete thought, right? Like yes. once the Once the textures and, and color palette were chosen, it just seems like it was really um, uh, well executed all the way through. Absolutely. Oh, you know what? It's 11.06. I know. I'm going to have to go. Yeah? Well, I can look at the rest. I haven't seen any of the slides, so I'll check them all out later. Um, but let's see. Where am I? Where have I gotten to? Um, okay, so we are going, we're on to page, our last page. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm going to miss the rest of the slideshow here, but I'm going to catch all of it. I want to see everything you all built. What a fun challenge! Yeah, this has been um, this has been one of my favorite challenges we've done in a little while. Like, I mean, I've liked all of them, but this one really people have really gone like really gone all out with the buildings and the details. Yeah, and of course, so much humor. 
really just clever, clever. Right. All right, everyone. Well, I guess I'm gonna see well, you. Well, you're gonna hope, get ready. Hope to see you before right. the um, before the holidays because we have other shows, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, but you're gonna get ready to go, but you'll pop in and say goodbye before you actually I will walk do out that. the door, I'm right? Almost ready. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I'll I'll pop in and say hi. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Um. Thank you. I'm gonna put Grandpa's glasses back on. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, moving forward. So this is. I love this build right here. This It's got so much detail. I really like the white and black um, color theme. And I and, and the font, is, they've done a really good uh, I, uh, job of like keeping the fonts um, around. <laughs> so anyway, this is, the, this is the inspiration. So one of my neighbors left me a note informing me that my gargoyle statue is not appropriate and not in keeping with the Christmas spirit. They firmly suggested that I rectify this situation immediately. Well, problem solved. Frank is now festive. I'm pretty sure that this is not what they had in mind, and I look forward to the future note stating as much. But one, Frank is very heavy, and he doesn't get moved. And two, I like him, even if he's not great at warding off evil Karens. <laughs> so here is Frank, the, the gargoyle, dressed in his festive outfit. And then... Here is Monica, uh, Monica Berry's take on the gargoyle. Um, so, yeah, the story of Frank the, the gargoyle. And the whole thing escalates if you want to check it out on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. I believe he's on Twitter as well, but uh, for those not on the book for faces. Um, this is hilarious. Like, what a funny little, like, obscure weird Christmas thing to build, but I am 100% here for it. I love it, and I love the lamppost. Nicely done. And the, I love that you used the the lime green for the wreath. It really it really pops, and of course it matches your backdrop. So, um, and what I love is that um, not only did you do a great gargoyle, but really what you've done here is you've, crea you've created Christmas Cthulhu. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you meant to do that. And I know it is it is absolutely the, the gargoyle also, but what you, this is 100% Christmas Cthulhu, and I am here for it. It's so perfect. <laughs> I had to definitely have to show... Um, uh, I definitely have to show this to Richard, because he will absolutely get a, a kick out of that. That's too funny. <laughs> Mary Cthulhu miss. <laughs> I, well, I love um, I love the story uh, of this, and and again, this is one of those those things like I was talking about before is that everybody's imagination and the the inspiration that they find from different places. Like, yes, it's Christmas Village, and it's this is <laughs> too funny. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, all right, here we go. Shall we? Uh, uh, moving right along. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This photograph is beautiful, and I love it. So this is from, no big surprise here, Ms. Slow Brickta, who has, like, come out of nowhere and just wowed us with every single thing that she's built. Um, and I was so excited that she won um, that... Uh, um, Adventure Time set because it had so many awesome tiles and pieces in it that she's going to be able to like use for future builds. I'm really excited about this. So, Miss Slow Brick to Winter Village and a lamp post. Uh, the lamps on uh, the lamps on the icy lamp post at the North Pole are fueled by methane from composted reindeer droppings. <laughs> this is why they burn so high and so bright. Fergie the Elf is in charge of compost collection and making sure Santa doesn't use these bags on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and there's a big snow-covered tree. I love the tree. I almost built a tree with the white branches, and then I didn't do it. And I'm so glad I didn't, because I love this of yours. is is great. Um... The bags are hilarious. I love the lighting. Now, I'm curious. This lighting effect looks like it was done in camera. Like, you maybe, like, you shown a, uh, a flashlight there. Um, 
And then this one looks uh, similar, like you've done a similar thing, but it's really great, a really, really great effect. And this, I mean, let's see, let's take a look at the other. Oh, this is fun too, with just the, <laughs> with the lamppost is really fun. Now, am I wrong or is the top of that lamppost the back of, um, uh, uh, why am I forgetting the name right now? The um, the Marvel superhero that rides the motorcycle that has a flaming skull head, <laughs> like that guy, um, I believe that's his head. Ghost Rider, thank you. Um, yeah, it looks like um, Ghost Rider's head, which I love. Um, really, really, that's really clever and fun. And I love the the sort of like the twisty uh, the twisty shape of the lamppost. Um, oh, it's a fiery pumpkin head. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, really good, really good, fantastic build. And I gotta say, coming back to this one, this one is just like, the lighting and all of it is just, it's perfect. Really, really lovely. AKA St. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, very nice. All right. This is from Osorg. Um, this is, um, my wife's grandparents owned a Christmas tree farm and I modeled my build for this week off of their Christmas trees and their farmhouse. Um, they were wonderful people. I, um, I don't believe they ever made a dime from this tree farm. They did not charge family members or friends who wanted a tree and also insisted that any couple they knew that got married was given a tree from their farm on their first Christmas. That's very sweet. Hmm. Um, Really, um, this is really beautiful, and it's, uh, I believe, a render, uh, but really, 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 really stunning. Whoa, with those dormer windows. Yeah, really cool, right? Well, I'm on my way, everyone. Okay, bye. Bye, Flynn. Bye. I'll see you later. Oh, we're going to get flagged now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Um, be careful. Thank you. And I'll, I'll, I'll see I'll you later. I'll talk to you when I'm on my way back. Okay. Bye. Oh my goodness. Um, all right. So yeah, this is, I, I love this because not only is it like, it got a sentimental story behind it, but it's, um, since it's based on a real building, it has a like marvelous, um, marvelously vintage look, right? Marvelously vintage look. Um, I love the lamppost, super fan of the lamppost. And those trees, like, I want to know what the construction method is um, for those trees. All right, I want to know what that's all about, because they look really, really cool. Very nice. And let's take a, we'll take a look at the, at, uh, the other one. This is the lamppost, more in detail. And I love the bench, of course, classic. But I love this, is, and those, that's one of our favorite pieces with bars on them, is that little sort of, like, hexagonal... Um, you know, thing, do, 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 do. um, oh. <laughs> Fabu fan, MKE, and, uh, Jeff McElwee, this <laughs> is really sorry, this isn't Saved by the Bell, it kind of is Saved by the Bell, ooh, I would love that, we were just talking about that the other day, we were talking about, um, laugh tracks in, uh, in the old sitcoms, and how, absolutely ridiculous they were and then there was always that too whenever something shocking happened Ooh, or anything really <laughs> yeah so really great beautiful building let's take a look at that one more time beautiful building beautiful tree design love the lamp post um really really cool very fun all right. Yes, totally, Remy. You're all just laughter. Ah! <laughs> all right. This is from... Oh, and sorry, Osorg said about their, um, about the lamppost, as for my street lamp, I've tried to model it after an old gas lamp, but I'm not 100% satisfied with it. So it's a bit of a work in progress. Um, I think it's beautiful, personally. I think it's gorgeous. I don't think it needs anything. Um, and I know maybe... Uh, I mean, it, w 
Okay, the only thing I would suggest is maybe, since you don't have the, the gl a glass surround on it, which you don't need by any means, I'm just telling you, but you could maybe swap out the flame that loops off to the side to the new candle flame, the newer candle flame. It looks a little bit more like a birthday candle flame. Um, that might do, because then it would be like a little bit more focused sh flame shape from like from different angles, but I think this is fantastic. Um, and I would, uh, I, yeah, I think it's terrific. So, all right. This is Patrick Wismer. And Patrick says, just call Landon the Lamp Guy. <laughs> so, <coughs> so this is, he's a come to repair the lamp post. I love the vintage truck. Like the vintage style truck is perfect. And he's got the the different lamp posts on there, and his little ladder leading up to the the lamp post. And I love that y'all have included the bench because it's so classic. Um, and I almost put a bench outside of my stables, and then I was like, why would you have a bench? Well, I don't know, but I might still add one in. Really cool. The truck is fantastic, um, and there's a few pictures. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Let's get let's give this a little bit more air, shall we? <laughs> let's take a look at that truck. Really great use of parts, great use of color. I love the back. And oh, I love how you did the sides with the clip holding a tile. That's really really great. Yeah. Very very nice. Love it. And there he is driving the car. I love it. <laughs> Waving and looking. <laughs> yeah, the truck bed's great. The the just the shape of all of it is just so classic. And I really like the um the silver stud, or the chromed stud for the um the radiator cap on the front it is perfect little detail and really I think um sells uh the the look of it. I just think it's really great. All right. Oh, yeah, there's silver studs on the wheels, too. Very cool. Chromed pieces. I'm sure Jake Sadovich is very happy. He loves the he loves those chromed pieces. Mm. Okay, you've jinxed with me a bunch of times. <laughs> I'll owe you I'll owe you the Coke. How about that? <laughs> or ever or whatever it is that you prefer. Beverage of your choice. <laughs> um Oh, Jake is still here. Very good. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love the chrome. The chrome pieces are great. All right. Oh, I see so many things here. I see Star Wars. I see hot dogs. I see a, a Big Leck, um, uh The Ikea, the Ikea box here is really good. And um, where did that giant hot dog thing come from? Because I need that immediately. Oh, it's a Duplo hot dog. Oh, no. Why did I just now find out about the existence of a Duplo hot dog? That is amazing. Fantastic. Oh, this is Rob Ketcherside's bill? Um, yes, it is. Sorry, I hadn't flipped over the... I forgot to flip over the paper. Rob Ketcherside. Sorry about that. Um... Love the uh, love the um, the giant hot dog is just too brilliant. Oh, and I have this I have this Christmas Wookie. Oh, very very cool. Yes, we have this we have this Christmas Wookie, and um, it, he's uh, like the albino Wookie. He's so adorable. I love it. And yeah, and you've got um, all the varying colors of hot dogs are here. <laughs> Great lamp post. Um, I just I love it. I love it. And I love the gold um the gold hot dogs as the decoration on the edge of the roof. That's really clever. Really really clever. Um yeah, the 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 um the the holiday wookie is definitely a bonus. <laughs> um okay. Let's see. We've got some more up. There's a nice close up of the re um the lamp post. And that you got that truncated cone, um, the uh, down at the bottom. I love it. I, I love it. And of course, I just I love the little bubble, like the bubble tops. Just it's, it's beautiful. 
And I love that they're all standing in line. Um, and there's even a penguin. The brick-built penguin is amazing. <laughs> so Rob says, I started with a Duplo hot dog discussed in chat during Wednesday's stream. Okay, so you may maybe you guys talked about it in the chat. I did not see about the Duplo hot dog. Or if I did, I forgot about it because, you know, these shows are. But I'm glad somebody was paying attention because, um, yeah, this is this is great. Um, I love the Winter Village Market that Tricky Brick showed us last week, so I decided to upgrade the vendor that had chicken, sausage, and cocoa. I converted it to 100% pure sausage stand. <laughs> In different versions of the story, the sand green sausage is either peppermint flavored, <laughs> peppermint flavored or vegan, or it's gone bad. Keep an eye out for other colors. My street light is an old gas lamp. The flame is held up by a mechanical claw. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, is it safe to say which Duplo set the light brick I found is from since Richard is it? Yes, you can say that now. He will, he's going to go back and watch this, but you can totally say it. <laughs> um, yeah, Santa and Ms. Claus are there in the back too, hanging out. Everybody's got a line. Everybody lines up for sausages. Yeah, really fun. So, 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 so much fun, um, Rob. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I love the little grill. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mom. How's it going? <laughs> All right. This is from Wilfred. Um, this one is called Three Lamp Posts, One Santa Claus. Come and have your picture taken. I love it. The I love that the um the, the okay, first of all, like the photo spot with Santa with the little baby sitting uh sitting there is great. Um I love that the guy taking the picture has a tricorn hat on for some reason and it doesn't matter because it's an awesome hat. Or is that a or is that a baseball cap? From here it looks like a tricorn. I can't tell. Either way is great. Um and I love the I love these sort of like outer space lamp posts. Of course, I say outer space because that's what those um, fluorescent green things make me think of. Is the is you know the 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 trans uh, fluorescent green makes me think of space. But they're really fun, super fanciful. Um, I love that you used. Um, oh, it's a beret. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Yes, now I see it. Oh, oh, I see. I was seeing the base of the lamp post that's behind him sticking off the side of the hat, and from here it looked like maybe it was a tricorn, but really good tricorn would have been fun. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, these are really, I really love how far out you went with these lamp posts. They're really fantastical and, and fun. And what a great little scene too, of course. And I, and good greebling on the ground there. Really, really fun. Um, the first small lamp post is mostly technic and homage to Richard. Oh, that's very sweet. I was going to say, I forgot to mention, I loved that you incorporated a technic bushing uh, in there. And I'll make sure that he sees this afterwards. Um, you did a great job. Super fun. All right. So this is from the Zaccardis. This time, Lana, Vanessa, and Rob did one large family collaboration. Our winter village scene includes a snowball fight, a snow mountain, a pretzel hut, and a frozen lake. We did borrow the hockey goals from and Jeep vehicle from existing Lego Friends sets. Awesome. So this is fun with those old school, uh, those old school plates, right? Really, really cool. Um, this is the, I love the I love the old school base plates. I I see a great lamp post here already. Um, I see pretzel stands. I love the um, the plow is great, and the little um, the little uh, hockey rink is really fun, and I love this like rainbow uh, the ski slope uh, or sledding uh, hill is really 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 beautiful. And what a fun, like, what a fun project to do as a family. I love that y'all did this one all together. It makes me super happy. The pretzel hut. You got lots of friends figs here. Really, really cute. And I love the blue, I think it's blue felt that you used for the, um, the, the hockey. Really good. And the, um, wow, and she's standing up on those ice skates. You want to know something, you want to know a little secret about me? I've never done a winter sport ever. I've never been skiing. I've never been ice skating. 
Um, I used to do sledding and stuff when I was a kid, but like an actual like like skating, sledding, never. I mean, skating or, and uh, or like snowmobiling or anything like that. Oh, it's a base plate. Okay, is it one of those um, homemaker ones? A Lego smooth plate. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Very good. I thought, yeah, from here it kind of looks like felt. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry for misrepresenting uh, your awesome plate there. Um, really, really fun. I love it. And I, and again, I love the little awnings uh, outside the pretzel hut. Really fun. Um, okay, and then here's another angle. I love that horse tack. We were looking for some horse tackle like that, and we don't have uh, we don't have any. Um, but oh look, there's another look at that awesome, wow, super creative with the lamp post. I love the thickness of the base and I love that those are the clear chef hats. Really, really, really fun. Wow, that's a really, really smart lamp posts. Um, really fun. Wow, love the snowball midair. Oh, did I miss a midair snowball? Oh, I'm going to have to go back and look for the midair snowball. Oh, midair snowball. <laughs> I got to say my uh, one of my favorite parts of this is the the sledding hill. And I guess because that is the one that I've um, you know, done the most is sledding, but yeah, and I love you got lo tons of different minifigures here. The sleigh is a great little design. Um, yeah, I saw Bart Simpson in there. Just really, um, really a lot of fun and lots of great use of parts, lots of great use of clear pieces um, and that smooth base plate. Really, really fun. Awesome. Oh, and I love your white trees. Those little, the cone trees are really a smart little build as well. Really fun. Well, oh, and that brings us back to the beginning. That is all of our, um, that is all of our slides for today. Um, Wow, that was incredible. I, I'm just, I'm sure you're probably sick of hearing about it, but my goodness, I'm just so impressed every single time we do one of these builds and the stuff that y'all um, that y'all come up with is always incredible. I'm just really, really um, excited about that. Um, I did want to show you, did I want to show you? Oh, I can't actually pick it up and show you, but I did want to show you. I actually, you couldn't really tell from the picture that I took of my piece, but it's a bit more dimensional than it looks in. Now, unfortunately, my horses are not attached, but it's a bit more dimensional than it looked in the photos. Um, this is, this part of it is actually set back a little bit from the main building. And I found this awesome flag with, I'm sure you all probably know what that symbol is. I think it's from a from an old Lego castle set. Um, but yeah, this sits back and I included the little um, barrel with the shovel and the broom for, for shoveling off the walk. But that was kind of, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you it was a little bit more, a little bit more dimensional than it maybe would have seemed from seeing it in a photograph. But <laughs> <clears throat> Oh yeah, and great lamp posts, everyone. Like no two were the same. <laughs> it's really fantastic. We need a lamp post yearbook. <laughs> Will it have like nicknames and you know, uh, most likely to succeed, <laughs> most dramatic lamp post? <laughs> Get, like a bunch of different ones. But um, oh my goodness! Well, what a fantastic day! Um, I can't—I still can't believe it's our last Friday for a couple of weeks. Um, I hope that—I mean, I figure that'll give um, everybody. Uh, I think that it'll give everybody some time to like work on the inevitable Lego sets that they will be receiving for uh, for the holidays without feeling pressured to have um, have a thing done. But we are going to have—we uh, actually have a really, really fun challenge coming up for the beginning of January and I'm not I'm not going to say what it is now but um I think everybody will appreciate it and it's going to um include some interaction by a couple of our uh community members so very excited about that wow my hair is getting like peak grandpa today it's just like flying out everywhere you know that thing where you like take a shower and then your hair's all wet and then for some stupid reason you decide to lay down and then like later it's all, <laughs> yeah, it was a bad, bad news, bad news. Um, 
but let's see what have we got going on okay so next week we are going to be having moto on monday and wednesday um <coughs> excuse me um uh we have uh we're gonna have moto on monday and wednesday and we're gonna be putting together um a model that he created and we are so incredibly excited about that we've never been able to put together um a model that one of our community members made um i wanted to do osorg's uh micro haunted house which i'm still gonna do i just haven't been able to get the all the pieces together unfortunately um so thank you so much for joining us today thank you so much for your incredible wonderful builds um i really really just so impressed and don't forget we will be here on uh sunday uh, to do to, with our regulars, Kara, Moto, Blair, and Holly. And I believe we're going to be talking a little bit about minifig display and how people dis like how people display their minifigs and what's the best way. We get a, we do get a lot of questions about that. And yes, Holly, thank you so much. If you uh, hit that like button, that's always great for us. We really appreciate that. Helps get us out there. Um, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you can do so at Tricky Bricks. Uh, if you want to email me with questions, comments, uh, whatever, you can do Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. Uh, and if you want to send us something through the snail mail, you may do so at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Um, I, um, I am... Every day, just so thankful for all of you and um, and all of you being here and all of your support and all of your friendship. Um, I am an extremely social person. And this last nine months has been extremely difficult for me in terms of not being able to see people. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, there's been a lot of work to do, getting the show together and stuff. And it always, um, even when I get my, get frustrated, sometimes with with uh trying to keep up with everything i just think about all of you and how much um just how much support and love that um that y'all give us and 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 each other and it's really um it's really important so thank you to everybody for that um i am it is one of the things i am i am most thankful for um this holiday season absolutely um so um, thanks, everybody, so much for joining me today. I know Richard says uh, he wishes that he could have been here with us for, uh, for the end there, but he does have, um, he did have this uh, pre, uh, oops, sorry, I gotta, there we go. We did have this like pre-done thing that we had to do, so. Um, I hope that you all have a really great rest of your Friday and your weekend. We'll be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, but until then, please make sure that you stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get that flu shot, and we'll see you Sunday at 10 a.m. Bye, everyone. <laughs>